Hey guys, Wrestling Rambles 89 here with another reaction video. This time I'll be reacting to Stone Cold talking about his favourite Kurt Angle story. Now I'm a huge fan of Stone Cold as I'm sure you're very well aware, but I'm also a huge fan of Kurt Angle and always have been. And stories about him and stories involving him are usually pretty interesting, so I thought I'd do a reaction. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Here's one. Hello, Steve. I'm a longtime listener from Lone Star State, Texas. My name is Kelvin Fitzpatrick, and I'm 22. My questions are, what was your favorite segment involving Kurt Angle? Were you ever approached for another GM role? And can you tell a road or backstage story? Those are my favorite. As you may hear all the time, Good you are my favorite Hall of Famer. I listen to you every day when I'm at work. Sincerely, Kelvin. Hey, Kelvin, i tell you what. All of the segments I did with Hall of Fame uh, inductee Kurt Angle also Olympic gold medalist from the 1996 Olympics, were yeah. just uh, a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Kurt was one of those guys, if you told him something or he read something, he remembered it like he had a photographic memory. Nice. And he was very, very smart and just had great instincts and great timing. But my favorite Kurt Angle story or one of my favorite <laughs> moments with Kurt Angle was at a house show in Fresno, California. And Kurt always gets mad when I tell a story. Well, he laughs, laughs about it. He doesn't get mad. Anyway, this we all know what a world-class athlete Kurt Angle is. Yep. And the intense training, all the training logs, all the video logs that he did on his journey to the 96 Olympics. I mean, this guy is one of the best athletes ever. Hell yeah. So anyway, we're in Fresno, California. I'm working with Kurt Angle in the main event. I can't remember what year it was. I was pretty damn hot. It was probably 97, 8, 9, whatever it was. Shit, I can't remember when he broke in. Definitely not. We were lighting Fresno on fire in a barn burner of a match at a house show. And goddamn, I looked down and Kurt was huffing and puffing and kept huffing and puffing. And I looked down again. And fuck, he was turning purple. <laughs> fuck, Kurt Angle was so blown up. He was turning purple. I had to pick yeah. his ass up. I said, God damn, what the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> Send him in the ropes, knock him down so he could catch a breath of fresh air. And <laughs> I always told Kurt Angle, God damn it. I guess if I blew your ass up in Fresno that bad, by proxy, that means if I would have went to the Olympics in 1996 and competed in wrestling, I would have beat your ass for the gold medal and you would have won the silver. <laughs> but it was one of the proudest <laughs> moments of my career. Out of all the titles that I've won, all the, the cool things that have got to do with Stone Cold Steve Austin, one of my proudest moments was blowing up a straight-up shoot gold medal Olympic wrestler in Kurt Angle, and I blew his ass up big time. <laughs> and I think that was the only time in the history of Kurt Angle's wrestling career that he ever blew up. But I was there, right there in the middle of it with him in the squared circle, and Stone Cold Steve Austin blew up a gold medal winner. Kurt Angle, I never, ever let him live that down. <laughs> That was a really funny, really cool story. I can definitely see why Austin likes that and still ribbing him about it. It was really damn funny. Kurt Angle is a great sport, a absolute naturally gifted, naturally talented athlete, and he had a hell of a career in the wrestling business too. I don't know what must have been going on with him at that time to get blown up, especially so early in his career, but I love that it happened to happen with Austin, who would do something like this, like make it into a joke. He should have won the gold instead of Kurt Angle, or he could have. That's a really good laugh, and I'm really glad I reacted to this. So yeah, thank you so much as always for watching. Hope you enjoy. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I upload new videos every single day. This is Wrestling Rambles 89, signing off.